the brand new Titleist U500 and U510. Mid handicap test? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and this is Mark, our mid-handicap tester. On this channel we bring you guys golf-related content every single day. 365 days a year -ish. Indeed. That helps you raise your game, lower your handicap, but mainly... Have some fun. Just try and get you to enjoy golf more, that's all we're here for. Today we're reviewing the brand new Titleist U500 and U510. Which one's best for a mid-handicap golfer, which one's best for this mid-handicap golfer. And we might talk a little bit of tech along the way. Yeah. I'm off. So Matt, we'll go U510 first. Yep. This is the slimmer of the two brothers. A bit like me and my brother. <laughs> no, this is the fat one. Oh, is it? Sorry, my bad. This is the fatter of the two brothers. A bit like my brother and me. And how does it look looking down at the ball? Well, it looks very big. It looks very big. I mean, to be fair on Titleist, the so in these, this lighting anyway, you can see the top line um, and the back is, is shaded. You, know, mm -hmm. you can't see it obviously, but when you look down, you know it's there, you can feel it's there. But So yeah, they've tried to hide the back. Yeah. So that's good. And this is the one that's available right up to one iron. Yes. Not a bad opener. Well, it's a fairway finder. Wasn't a nice strike, wasn't a good strike. And what Titleist say about these as well is these are basically for the guy who probably should be using a hybrid but doesn't like the idea of a hybrid or can't hit a hybrid. You're a hybrid kind of guy, aren't you, Mark? Uh, yes, I have been. Are you a five wood guy now? I put the five wood in the bag yeah. just recently. I mean, I've still got a hybrid or yeah. two in the cupboard sort of thing, so. Now we're talking. Golf swing that one. Is that a bit toey, maybe? Yeah. So not a great deal of forgiveness there. The distance has dropped right off for you there. Nice shaft head. Yeah, so we have got the hazardous smoke shaft in both of these clubs. Not bad. Let's have one more mark and then we'll move into the slimmer version at the 500. So in both these clubs we do have a forged high strength steel L-face insert with high density tungsten for more stability. How did it feel? Sound wise? Sound was okay. Yeah. Um, the, the this is the first time I've kind of had it in my hand and I can't believe how a real chunky it is. Um, One to four iron you can get this. I felt, I felt the strike was good. Yeah. Um, but distance wise and so on, yeah, yeah for, for me. So now we're going to move into the more players style one, the five, yes. I keep getting yeah. this mixed up. 500. 500. This is probably a bit more it's more my cup of tea anyway. Yes, yeah, I think it's, it, it's more of mine as well, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. there we go. So, uh, Looking down at it. Yeah, that, that looks a lot a lot better. Um, I mean, the same as the, the 510. It's, the, the top line is more visible. Uh, it's, not as, it's not as much width, but it's very thin. It's a nice thin top line. Would you say potentially line. that this could be more for kind of the, the higher handicaps, not necessarily the mids? Uh, I would have said, Yes, if anybody's looking for a three iron and, and high handicap, that's much more of a of an option. Yeah. So straight away, what I would be expect to see here is is a little bit less forgiveness. To be fair, so the 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 very thing that maybe you're not too keen on with the five ten in the in the size of it yeah. will play into obviously this being a little bit less forgiving, more of a player's club. Possibly, yeah, possibly. That sounded awesome. Sounded awesome, but... It wasn't a... It's interesting, I mean, if, if these are sort of supposed to be driving irons, mm. but I'm not getting them very far at all. No, that one didn't, that one sounded good though. Yeah. Further one. 
I'm definitely seeing a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if you're if you're kind of seeing that as well. But yes. Yes. Certainly. Right, Mark, let's hit one more and let's compare. We're going to compare the averages. We're also going to look at the good and the bad. <clears throat> that sounded very good. More like you what? More like what you'd be after? That that was better. Yes, yes that was certainly better. Now, oh, Mark, you've hit a bunch of shots with each. The five hundred and the five ten. I've actually got that the right way around this time as well, well which is yes, always well good. Done. Initially, so before we look at the numbers, what are your thoughts on those two, those two clubs? Um, I think generally for me, I'm not sure mm -hmm. that I would have this sort of club in my bag yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's the first point for me. Uh, secondly, again, for me, the 510 is just too big. It just mm -hmm. looks unwieldy. And, and that's interesting I'm because struggling. I've been kind of looking keenly at how you've been hitting them. And I think if we were looking at performance, yeah, that sounded weird for an iron, didn't it? The uh, the, the five ten is, is probably better. Probably going to be the one, yeah. For these two, the five ten for me looks more ping crossover like. Yes. Whereas yeah. the five hundred looks more maybe tailor made UDI, not quite that thin, but that kind yeah, of on certainly, the line. Certainly. Um, so. so yeah, that, I prefer I prefer the five hundred for for the looks. Yes. Certainly, and and probably. If I was trying to move the ball, mm -hmm. I would. Yeah. That's a that's a better option. This is just this is just going to hit yeah. it. Sort okay. Of thing. Um, but let's be fair, because if you picked your golf clubs purely on looks, you'd be using the ping blueprints. I would. So there's that as well. Guys, let's take a look at the numbers. Let us see just how the Titleist U500 and the Titleist U510 performed for our very own mid handicap tester, Mark. So initially, let's look at dispersion, because that's always interesting for our mid handicap test. The U500, a little bit scattered. Remember this is kind of going to be over around 200 yards. That last one went 202, so not horrendous. What about the 510? 510, there's more of a shape there, isn't there, rather than, you've got to say dispersion is better on that 510. Numbers. So numbers, let's start with the 510. 180, 203, 274, 189, 159. So a pretty mixed bag there. Obviously, this is what we're looking for for a mid handicap test. We are looking for good shots and bad shots. So we can safely say the good shot with the 510, 203, spinning at 32. So pretty good numbers for that 3, three hybrid or 3 utility. The bad shot, obviously, not quite what we would be after. An average of 181 over the five shots. What about if we look at the 500? So 500, we know that the good shot was 202, that was the last one. So the good shots are pretty similar. Spinning at 3.1, so spinning a little bit lower than the 5.10 was doing. We've also got one there at 1.97, which was a nice shot, spinning at 2.5, so a pretty low spin, a bit more of a knuckleball. Remember the 500 is designed to be a lower spin option, a bit more of a player's option. Then we've got a couple of not so good swings in there as well, the worst one being 147. And again, just not ideal this swing we would want. Average 179, so funnily enough, there's only two yards in it on average for these clubs with good shots and bad shots in there. And spin 3,300 on average and 3,500 on average. So after taking a look at not only dispersion but the numbers, I suppose a little bit more there for you on the five. Get it right. I suppose a little bit more there for you on the 500. Good shots, very, very similar. Good shots, similar. Yeah. Bad shots, very, very similar. Yeah, certainly. What would you say to a mid handicapper who's potentially looking at these utility irons instead of maybe a hybrid or a five wood, from your personal experience? Uh, certainly, certainly, you've got to look at these things. Mm. I mean, if you if you are interested, you've got to take a look and, and, and have a have a swing with them. Certainly, on the range, outdoors would be would be my preference. Yes. Um, but you know, give it a chance. I would probably be looking more at utility or five wood yeah. than one of these in my bag. You mean hybrid, sorry. Mark means hybrid by utility. Sorry, yes, yes. When you said earlier that the utilities look, I was like, oh, that's a hybrid, Mark, but okay. Yeah. Those of us that are old enough know that they were utilities when they first came out and they've been changed into hybrids. There were rescues when they first came out. Yeah, actually. Well, uh, one thing, really as, a, as, a, as a professional, as a teacher, as a club fitter as well in some instances, 
I think it depends what kind of golf course you play as well. So if you play mm. like a linksy style course, something like this is going to help you. You can get it out there off the tee. It's a low spin option. If yeah, you play a, a real inland parkland course, it's going to be wet. You want to get it high. You want to get it stopping. Something like this isn't really going to be your cup of tea. You're going to want a hybrid. You're going to want a five wood. So it depends where you play the majority of your golf as well. If you like Mark and you get to travel around and play golf every single day and play the best golf courses in the world, <laughs> some people will believe that as well. <laughs> then you're going to want a yeah. different kind of versatile aspect to your bag, aren't you? Yeah, certainly. Certainly. But that means you need to take lots of golf clubs with you, yeah, depending on, on what course you're going to play. Yeah. So, Mark, thank you very much for your time. Thank very, you, James. Very good, thank as you. always. That was our mid-handicap review of the new Titleist U500 and U510. It's only taken me one video to start saying that right, so I'm very, very happy with that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, you know where the subscribe button is, or if you're not subscribed, maybe you don't know where it is, but go and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content that we bring to you. It means a lot to us that you watch, and we're very, very happy that you watch. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content. Hit the comments below. Could you see yourself using a Titleist utility iron, or could you see yourself using a hybrid or maybe a fiber? Yeah. Apart from that, see you tomorrow. Take care.